the Executive Governor of Katsina State, amply represented by the Deputy Governor, Your Excellency, Alaji Farouk Lawal Jobe, Sarkin Fulani Jobe of Katsina, the Chairman of this very important occasion, our own grand patron, Professor Abuba Kanuga. He has always demonstrated his practical support to the NU2. The Deputy Chief of Staff to the Governor, Representative of the Chief Judge of the State, members of the State Executive Council, Katsina State, the traditional institution I defer to you, Director General in charge of media to His Excellency, and indeed other top government functionaries that are here, not forgetting the chairman of Katsina Council, who is hosting us in this occasion. He has the title one lady number. And we celebrate you, Mr. Chairman. Not also forgetting my brother, Muhammad Tukur, the vice president of our union in charge of Northwest Zone and the Zone Secretary. I celebrate you. The Chairperson Nigeria Association of Women Journalists, NAWATCH, and indeed Chairmen and Secretaries of our chapels in Katsina Council and the other heavyweights in our union that are here not forgetting our erudite scholars that have taken time to address us on the twin topics that we have celebrated today. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, indeed it remains a great honor for me to once more be in Katsina State to celebrate with my second state. I recall some two years ago or thereabouts, the state government rolled out the drums to celebrate my birthday here in Katsina, led by the governor of the state, uh, the right, the honorable Masseri, and members of the state executive council. So I see Katsina as uh, my second state. And I'm always excited to come to these states to celebrate with the people. And today's occasion because becomes more unique and momentous indeed because the state is celebrating its 37 years anniversary. I would indeed like to commend the Casina Council of the Nigeria Union of Journalists for consistently organizing this event now in its uh, seventh consecutive year. This is not just a lecture series, what we have witnessed today, but it's a platform for reflection, for dialogue, and for progress. The fact that the AUJ is at the forefront of this celebration speaks volumes about the critical role the media plays in the development of any society. We have not come here today to celebrate NUJ, but we have come to celebrate the state. And the NUJ is at the forefront of this celebration. It speaks volumes. Today, we've delved into two important topics. The first, very well presented, Casina State at 37, the journey so far. This is not
not just a paper on the history of the state, but an assessment of our shared progress as a people. Casina has made remarkable strides over the years, becoming a significant player in Nigeria's social, political, and economic development. From its agrarian roots to its contributions in governance, in education, and commerce, Casina State's journey is indeed worthy of reflection. Nigeria's political development, social political development, without giving a good space to appreciate the contributions from Katsina State. It will be difficult. And uh, when we appreciate these achievements, our keynote has also took time, especially the discussions, to also stray the challenges that we have experienced and that we still have in Katsina State. It will be difficult for one administration to take care of all the challenges that confront the people. It's difficult. It's also difficult for two, three democratically elected administrations to address all the problems at once. It's difficult because if they do that, there is no need to have any other administration. We would have substantially solved our problems. So that is why as people come, they address the problems they have capacity to address. And another administration comes and also takes time to address the challenges they meet on ground. By the time they leave, another set will come. And that is why it is said that government is a continuum. It's not a one-time thing. People come, address them. Other people also come on board to address the remaining problems. Yes, when we started as a state, the keynoters identified only two institutions. But today, you are celebrating over 10. That in itself is a huge achievement on its own, and we must celebrate them. There are states in the country today that cannot boast of two institutions. But in Katsina, you can boast of 10. You can boast of 11. And these institutions are producing people who are also helping in addressing the plethora of challenges that we have as a people at different levels. It can be at the local government level. It can be at the world level. It can be at a constituency level. It can be at a senatorial level. It can be at a state level. It can also be at a national level. It depends on the level where they are functioning. But I can tell you that these people are contributing their own quota in ensuring that we are not where we used to be. But we may not have arrived where we aspire to be. But it is journey in progress. We continue to make uh, with the journey. The second paper, titled 19 years after Dr. Yusuf Bala Osman, his contributions to the development of politics and history of Katsina State takes us deeper into the life and legacy of one of Katsina's greatest intellectuals and political minds. Dr. Yusuf Bala Osman, of blessed memory, was indeed a man of profound insights, a man of profound vision, and a man of profound integrity, unyielding integrity indeed. His contributions to the understanding of Nigeria's history, especially in the North, and his unflinching commitment to social justice remain a guiding light. As we reflect on his legacy today, it's important that we must be inspired by his courage to speak truth to power and his dedication to the empowerment of the people. For the NUJ organizing these lectures, it's not just, like I said, a ceremonial function. It's our duty. That is what we do as journalists. The NUJ has always been a catalyst for public discourse, a platform for civic engagement, and of course, a protector of our democracy. It's actually the media that protects the democracy. 
The media remains the oxygen of democracy. Without inhaling this oxygen, there is no democratic governance. I can tell you that. We believe that journalism is not just about reporting events, but also about shaping ideas, influencing policies, and nurturing national development. It is through such intellectual gatherings, like we have witnessed today, that we remind ourselves of our shared responsibilities towards nation building. As we discuss Cassina's journey and celebrate the contributions of figures like Dr. Yusuf Bala Osman, let us not forget that the broader picture, the bigger picture. Nigeria stands at a crucial juncture in its history today. The challenges we face as a nation, whether in governance, in security, or economic development, are immense. The media's role in navigating these challenges cannot be overemphasized. We must continue to hold leaders accountable, amplify the voice or voices of the marginalized, and promote peace, unity, and progress. We must also acknowledge that these efforts require collaboration. The government, the civil society, the private sector, and the media must work hand in glove to create an enabling environment where progress is sustained. Finally, Your Excellency, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, as we celebrate 37 years of Casino State's creation, let us take pride in our achievements by remaining vigilant in our pursuit of a better future. Let the lessons we learn today guide us in our roles as journalists, as citizens, as we continue to contribute meaningfully to the development of our dear state, Katsina, and indeed our beloved country. I must indeed once more celebrate the leadership of the AUJ in Katsina State. This leadership has indeed been awesome. When we started, when we took over the mantle of leadership of our union, I must tell us without any doubt that Katsina Council gave us maximum support. And through thick and thin, this council has equally continued to stand with us. And I must tell you, it's more like an emotional moment for me. Because after now, I may not be addressing you in this council of state as the AUJ president. Because by then, I would have handed over to another proactive, pragmatic leadership that would take AUJ from where we are to another level. And we are happy that the people who God has prepared to take over leadership are the people that have worked closely with us. People that have worked step by step with us. People that have understood us. People that understand our mantra which of course is anchored on people, on how to address the arrays of challenges staring the union in the face. You know, I have said it earlier on, the country is at a crossroad, and the media is not exempted. We all operate in the same system. But I believe by the time we hand over the torch, because leadership is more like a relay race, when you are done with your own race, you hand over to another leader who also takes the torch to another leader. And by then, we'll continue to build a formidable platform, a platform that will continue to speak for those who cannot speak for themselves, a, a platform that will continue to raise issues and hold those in governance accountable. Because if we allow them to fly, they will fly away. That's why the media remains there. We are given this responsibility in Section 22, Chapter 2 of the 1999 Constitution as amended. If there is going to be probity in governance, if there's going to be transparency in governance, if there's going to be accountability in governance, if there's going to be some total of good governance, the media must not check its responsibility of holding those in government to account. I'm not going to bore you with words, but to also thank you and thank the state government, ably represented here by His Excellency, the Deputy Governor, who is standing in for His Excellency, the Governor, for the enormous support you've continued to give this council. There are councils I visit. Not even SA to governor will attend their events. There are councils I visit. The highest person that will come there will be a commissioner. 
But I must stay here. The number of times I've visited to be part of events of AUJ here is either the governor is there or the deputy governor is there. So this speaks volumes to the support and cordiality that exists between the media and those in government. I want to plead with you to sustain this history. It's a positive one and it will help us to continue to build our states to remain the envy of the rest of the states of this country. Once again, thank you very much for inviting me and may God continue to bless the Federal Republic of Nigeria.